everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are then my name is Kelly, really nice to have you here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is going to be a I saw it first try on haul. So I think I've ordered from this company once before and I, I liked the pieces that they had and I think that they're very comparable as to their prices. I think they're really reasonable. The reason why I decided to shop their site is because I was looking for a coat with a faux fur trim and also faux fur cuffs. Now I know that that's a little bit extra but I really like that look. I saw it on Amelia Liana and she has a coat like that hence why that prompted me in the late hours of the evening to shop online which is so dangerous because I'm just very easily influenced so it's terrible but that is the reason why I did the online order. I then started browsing their site and they had some really nice pieces so if you do want to see what I picked up then just keep watching. So we're a couple days before Valentine's Day when I'm filming this and I've actually got Valentine's Day nails if you can see. I've got little love hearts on my nails and then yesterday I actually picked up this stunning I don't know if you can classify it as a cup because it's kind of like a mini bowl um, but this huge really sweet Valentine's Day inspired cup it's just got these love hearts on and I just think it's so cute so I'm drinking my coffee out of there today this is my first coffee of the day albeit it's decaf but I feel like the placebo of coffee kind of like gives me a little bit of a buzz so let's have a look at the pieces that I picked up. So I'll start with a smaller item first. I just grabbed a pair of jeans. These looked really intriguing to me on the website. A high-waisted wide leg jean, but they also have a split at the bottom, which I just thought would look really cute with like an oversized sweatshirt and maybe some like chunky trainers with my hair up in a claw clip. Very 90s, very early 2000s, but I'm really here for that sort of trend at the moment. So I wanted to get these. They've got two pockets in the back which I really like the look of and I just love the wash of them as well they're like in between like a mid and dark wash jean I just think they're really cute so yeah looking forward to trying these on hopefully they fit me they look like they're gonna be pretty long so we shall see these I think look really nice and I think they hit at a really nice point on my foot as well they're just the right length and I love where the split comes as well the slit kind of comes up to this part on my leg which I think is a really cute touch. The only thing that I will say is I think they're just a tiny bit too tight on my waist. So, I mean, they kind of look okay if I'm standing like that. But if I were to sit down, I'm going to get this big belly roll. Um, so, I'm not really sure about that. Like, if I went out to dinner and I wore these, as soon as I had something to eat, I'm obviously going to blow. And then, if I'm sitting, as you can see, I'm going to have, like... I don't know, it's just not going to look very attractive. But I think that they're such a stunning wash. And I'm really struggling to find jeans that fit me. If I get a size 10, they're too big. And if I get a size 8, then they're too... Well, I mean, for this particular store. They're too small, which is such a shame. Um, but I'm going to debate on these for a little bit longer. Because I'm not sure whether or not I can just make it work. Because I really do like the wash of these jeans. And I never find jeans that kind of like fit me nicely everywhere else it's literally just the waist that I'm having an issue with so I'm gonna have a think about this and I don't know I don't know I don't I don't like having tight jeans that's one thing I don't like feeling like it's digging into my stomach and it does feel like that even when I'm standing up so sitting down is probably going to be quite uncomfortable so I may have to size up in these but the only thing is I don't want them to be really wide I like the fact that they're like this I love the shape of them, it's literally just the way. Another thing that I've been on the hunt for recently is a trench coat that's nice and fitted, not too oversized, just has that little bit of extra room in it and then also has these little bits, I'm not really sure what you call them, on the shoulders but I specifically wanted a coat that had these bits on the shoulders and so I picked up this one from I Saw It First. It's the perfect colour, exactly what I was looking for. The material's also not too thick so I do think that you could wear this maybe like spring sort of time and then also through autumn. I think if it's winter you'd either need to really layer up underneath or maybe just go for a different coat but I think that you could possibly wear it all year round maybe like on a summer evening obviously not in the day and then it's got elasticated cuffs and it has a tie around the waist the only thing that I'm thinking at the moment is this does seem really big this is looking really big and I think I ordered this in a size 10 
um, because I didn't want it to be too tight if I wanted to wear a cardigan under it but I think this may be an oversized coat because it looks absolutely ginormous so yeah wish me luck with this one French I really love the look of this the only thing again is the freaking size I just think it's too big for me although actually a lot of street style they are super super oversized so maybe that's okay like if I left it open it I can also cinch it in but then does it look like I'm you know like I've stolen some random guy's coat and just done it up I don't know does this look too big on me? Does it look ridiculous? The material is nice and thin, but it's actually quite stiff, so I don't know. I feel like I'm almost kind of fighting against it when I walk, but I really love the look of these shoulder bits. That's the only thing that's like drawing me to keeping it. I love the way that it looks when it's open as well, with the darker buttons contrasting against the light colour of the material. I love the fact that it's got elastic cuffs. I think that's a really nice touch as well. I think that just kind of like brings the silhouette of your arm down um, to like a thinner point. But yeah, it is really nice. I don't know. I'm torn. I actually need your help. So please do <laughs> leave me a comment. Yes or no for this coat. So pretty. So then this is the coat that actually drew me to the website in the first place. So I think that this is absolutely stunning and I literally cannot stop running my hands over this faux fur. It is so buttery smooth. It is just the softest feeling thing. I could literally do this all day. I had to tell you, if you're feeling stressed or anxious, I would just get yourself one of these coats just to rub the faux fur. But it's in this really nice camel colour slash light brown sort of colour. It's really nice on the inside as well. And then it has got faux fur around the cuffs, which I really like the look of. It also does have a bit that you can tie around the waist, but that is separate. So that's just on the floor there. But I'll show you in the try on what it looks like. And I'm really, really hoping that this fits me well because this is such a stunning coat. The material is nice and thick. It feels good quality. I'm just, yeah, hoping that this fits me because... Oh my goodness, I just want to be wrapped up in this all day, every day. Don't I feel like such a fancy person in this coat? I just feel really luxurious and expensive. The only thing is, again, I just feel like it's too big. Like, there's just so much material. If I do the buttons up, I mean, it's huge. Absolutely huge. I don't know what I've done wrong. I swear I got this in a 10, so surely that should fit me. I don't, th it didn't look oversized on the model on the website. I mean, if I wrapped it right round like this, then obviously it would look a little bit better, but that's not how it's meant to be because the buttons are like all the way, the buttons to do up, which should be here, are all the way over here. Um, but it feels so nice. I absolutely love the cuffs. And I feel like if I wore it open, then maybe I could get away with it. But if I did it up, I'm just not getting away with anything, am I? Um, let's see. So the pockets feel nice. There's not really too much to say about them. I just think it is so gorgeous. It's so nice. But I just think, again, it just doesn't fit me very well. So I might have to order this in a smaller size. But the colour of it is absolutely stunning. I definitely think that this would be an amazing autumn winter coat. And obviously we're starting to come out of winter very soon. I think people are starting well. I don't know if everybody's thinking about it, but I'm starting to think about spring and summer now. So this is probably not the best idea to be getting a coat like this anyway. So maybe I will look for one next autumn. So the next thing that I picked up is this zip up cardigan. This purchase was actually inspired by a YouTuber that I really love. I think she's a Korean YouTuber. Um, she's Her channel is H-A-Z-I. I'm not sure if it's Hazy or Hazy, but she inspired this because she wears things like this quite often and I just really like the way that it looks so when it's kind of when it's zipped kind of up to your chest the material sort of lays flat over your shoulders and I just really like that look I also am hoping that it kind of goes over my hands as well so maybe it goes up to my knuckles because I like long sleeves so we shall see the only thing that I'm not a hundred percent crazy about is I don't like the fact that there is black material under the zip so I do feel like that's going to contrast quite harshly against the creaminess of the actual material. Um, it is also looking rather thin so I'm not sure whether or not this is going to be see-through if I have like a dark bra on. I'm pretty sure it's going to be unfortunately but um, I'll obviously refrain from judging until I've tried it on. So then this is actually super cute. I'm really happy with it and I 
the the black underneath the zip isn't actually bothering me as much as I thought it was going to. I mean, look how long these sleeves are. I love that fact. I love the fact that it's nice and cropped. I think it hits at a really nice point. So I've got the contrast of the tight trousers and obviously the baggier top half. But I just think it looks really nice. I love the way that the material sits on my shoulders as well. This is what I meant. I think it kind of like accentuates your décolletage. So yeah i just think it looks really cute and i'm actually really happy with this i also like the way that the material kind of bunches up when it does sit a little bit higher on your hand i just think this looks really cute as an entire outfit i think i would be really happy if i wore this out i don't really think it's too see-through i think if i wore like a nude bra or like um just a tank top underneath i think i'd be absolutely fine and i'd be more than comfortable to wear that so yeah i'm really happy with this one i definitely think this one is a thumbs up so can you tell what the running theme of this video is? It's mostly a coat haul, which I was not expecting to do. I was just drawn to a lot of the coats that they were selling. So this one is really cute. So it's in this really gorgeous deep red colour. And it's got no hood, which I absolutely love. It's got poppers to do up, which I love that detail. It's quick and easy to get on and off. And I just love the style of it. It's giving me very much barber vibes. I do actually have a red barber jacket, which I haven't worn in a really long time. Um, because it's in a size 6. And it does fit me, but my boobs don't really fit in it very well. It's very tight on the chest. So I like that it's got poppers on the pockets as well. And the pockets are nice and deep. And I just really like the stitching that's running through it. I think it gives it like a really nice, interesting design. And I'm really looking forward to trying this on. It feels super thick, so I reckon it would keep me nice and warm. Again, though, it looks like it's going to be really big. And I didn't want this to be too oversized. I wanted it to fit kind of true to my size and not be too big. But I may have to order this in a smaller size, so... But it is super cute. I think it's a really, really nice coat. So this coat is absolutely lovely. Really nice and snug and warm. But as you can see, when I'm putting it shut, which is where it would be if I did the poppers up, I just feel like it is really big and boxy on me. So I don't know if that's the look. I think I maybe should have sized down in this. I don't think that it's flattering me um, having it in this size. I absolutely love the colour of it. And I think it would be really comfy to just kind of like wear it open like this. You could just pop your hands in your pockets. But I just think that there's a bit too much material. But yeah, if I did it up, I like the way that it looks kind of on the neckline. I like the fact that it's nice and high, but I just, <laughs> I do think that it looks a little bit boxy on me. I just think I definitely didn't size myself right. I'm still trying to like get used to dressing myself after losing loads of weight. But with coats especially, I feel like coats always seem to run quite big anyway. So I'm still finding my feet with actually sizing myself properly for coats. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep this one, unfortunately. But I do like the detail here. It's got kind of like a little split at the side. I think that's really cute. It's a nice touch. Next up, I grabbed a pair of jeans. These are just some skinny jeans with some distressing all over, which is not usually my cup of tea. I'm very scared of distressed jeans because they have a tendency, for me personally anyway, to rip even further. Like, I do a lot of bending down obviously because I have a one year old um, and I sit on the floor a lot because obviously we're playing a lot on the floor and so I don't think that it's the smartest idea for me to buy distressed jeans but um, I just really like the look of them on the website and I just need some smaller jeans that actually fit me so I got mine in a UK size 8 and they're just pretty, pretty plain, pretty basic but yeah, I just needed a good simple pair of black jeans, but maybe without the distressing, now that I'm thinking of it, I probably shouldn't have got them. <laughs> These actually fit more like jeggings. They feel really thin, but really stretchy and quite comfortable actually. So I really do like them for that fact. I'm actually quite okay with the distressing as well. I think they seem to be quite sturdy, so I don't feel like I'm gonna rip them. Um, but they fit super nice, nice and tight in all the right places, as you can see. And they're not too tight around my waist. I definitely think they fit me perfectly around the waist. There's like a little bit of room, but I think that's because the material is stretchy. And yeah, I actually have nothing bad to say about these. I really like them. And then the last thing that I got is this 
kind of like coffee creamy sort of gilet i just really like the look of this on the website and i've been looking for one this sort of color for quite a long time it feels really good quality nice and thick i like the fact that it's not got a hood as well and i like that the color is quite high i just think it's really nice i like the fact that it's got these thick panels up the entirety of it as well and it's also a bonus for me that the zip matches the color of the actual gilet itself and it does have pockets they're quite deep pockets actually there's no poppers or fastenings at all they're just open pockets but I just think this will be really nice as the weather starts to warm up a little bit rather than wearing a coat I can just wear like a jumper with this over the top and still look really put together I'm absolutely obsessed with this I love this this is so comfy and it feels like it's really going to keep me snug and warm I just think it looks really good I'm not sure whether or not I should have got a smaller size let me know in the comments do you think that this is passable but if I zip it up I obviously look like a little bit of a marshmallow so there is quite a lot of extra room but like is that the look i'm not really sure should this be oversized on me or should it be more fitted i don't think that i would wear it done up though unless i was like out on a walk or something i think for like aesthetic purposes i would probably keep it open so i definitely think that i'm going to keep this one i think this is really cute and i love the way that the collar stands up i think that just looks really i don't know why i just think it looks like really expensive <laughs> But yeah, let me know. Do you like this one? I love the colour of it as well. I think this goes really well with the white. Super happy with this one. This one is definitely a thumbs up from me. So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, just to let me know, please do give it a thumbs up. Also consider hitting the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I would really appreciate it and it would be lovely to have you be part of this community. So everything in today's haul I will have linked in the description box down below. So do give that a check out. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.